Hugh Carey is a suspense view and full of humor. Imagine a community whereby the indigents only get to have a meal of rice and sauce once in a year. And at the same time, in that same community, the parish council chairman could afford to have the same meal of rice and sauce every other week. Of course, we may just first. Um, another thing, the, the, the lead character, Akagu, used religion as a political tool to accumulate wealth from the, from the church first for his own selfish use. And like when the second leader was reading from the 11th charter, we realized that even the, the parish priests, they are not exempted from the corruption. They have eaten deep into the body of Christ. You see a situation whereby a parish priest, a parish man came for confession, and the parish priest refused to accept her confession because she had not paid her church dues. And a parish priest, having intimate affairs with parishioners' wives and even attempting to rape a young girl. It's assault, it's crazy. But believe it or not, all these things are happening. I'm not going to give you the full plot of the story. You should read it yourself. But I can tell you this, or rather permit me to say this, that though the author is a writer, I won't call him a writer. I'd rather call him a painter, an artist. Because you use words and brush and paint to paint a very vivid picture of the corruption happening in the body of Christ. Thumbs up to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Victoria. And ladies and gentlemen, can we put our hands together for this young lady? We have a special reason for calling her up to do this in that perspective because literally most of us are very busy to read. And you find that if you see her statue, you know that her uh, those guys say they read well, well. So that is why we have to call her up this morning to paint a picture of her understanding of this work. Thank you very much, Victoria, and I hope for coming.